Hi, hello. Uh, I know that some people didn't attend to the um, uh, lesson this week, so I thought it could be useful to have a look together at the exercise because I think it's kind of very basic and actually summarized very well what we are intended to do in the course. So in the slides you will see a little introduction to what it is animation uh, using storyboards. So it's basically pre-visualization techniques wherever you are talking about animatics, scripts, um, storyboards, which is probably the most classical one. The thing is, uh, in my opinion, and that's what the exercise is going to be, you can do the storyboard at the same time that you prepare your animatic, and, uh, at the same time in some aspects that you are planning your animation. So these three things are not really that sequential, are going to be, uh, you know, influencing each other. But let's see how uh, this can be with an example. In this other presentation, you will see my example. It's basically a proposed an exercise in which the people are trying to create their own animations inspired by a typical English idiom. So thinking in typical things like break a leg, call it a day, hang it there, all these things you probably know uh, many of those, or you can think of any any more on your own. In these slides, you have some links that you can use that are like some resources for learning English. So I think uh, any of these can do, you know. So what is going to be the recommendations? Uh, I usually explain that storyboards are very wide and can be anything. So I don't really. Uh, need to set up exactly what the storyboard is. The storyboard needs to be easy to understand and needs to communicate. So good ideas is to put some reference to the order of the vignettes of the panels, so everybody knows where you know to look at. Then anything that has to do with camera movement and all this, rather than description, probably it's better to find ways to do that visually. Okay, so um, some of the examples are here, you see that just with arrows or whatever, you can perfectly uh, indicate the movement of the camera. So you don't really need to, to be, uh, you know, explaining pan or, or uh, you know, rolling out or shake or anything like that. You can if you want, of course, uh, but I think uh, it's only a complement of this, it's, it's something extra, okay? So um, we'll see we'll see now some examples uh, literally working with one of these um, you know uh, sentences one of these idioms. I didn't really think that much, so I thought break a leg, okay? Because I thought that it could be you know a very simple one. I don't have many times and in different versions. So. When you look for it, break a leg, uh, you have the, the sentence meaning, the idiom meaning. That's important because if you want to visualize something, you need to first be sure that you understand that. Saying so that, I know that mm, you would see, for example, some kind of posters like this, break a leg, you know, or like this one. Uh, I think this is a very good example. When we are creating an animation, it's key to try to, especially when they are that short, Okay, it's segmenting the animation into meaningful sequences, into meaningful, uh, not only sequences, but then later a uh, kind of keyframes. And of course, I know keyframes as a word means many things. So maybe it's better to think about this as a master keyframe. Okay, so if you visualize something like this, for example, the poster on the, on the left, you would think that is a poster perfectly understands, uh, perfectly illustrates uh, what the idiom means, but let's think, how can we animate that? How can we do something, uh, you know, in that sense with our own concept, of course? So uh, that's why first I'm going to propose to create some kind of master keyframe, let's say, and then from that we go to the rest of the animation. Okay, I'm, I'm here in the Photoshop and uh, this is where I'm going to start. So basically I'm thinking uh, I'm going to create uh, an A4 and uh, this A4 is going to be horizontal because I'm going to be using that as, as kind of the typical panel. Okay, so I'm going to orient that uh, horizontally 
I'm not going to touch anything else. Maybe, on, maybe this only. So it is compatible with the software like uh, you know uh, After Effects. Okay. So I'm going to start with that. Create. That's it. Okay. So this is where I'm going to put my my image. And as you see uh, in my slides, you will see, for example, this kind of templates. Doesn't matter which one you want to use, but I'm going to try to get something like this. Okay, because I want something proportional to 69. So, okay, you see, obviously it's very small. I'm going to do it proportional. You see that uh, I keep the ratio, so you can also connect these kind of things the, to maintain this, the aspect ratio but something like that should be okay so I'm going to do as big as this and then I'm going to and you see that this you know not ideal it's a little uh, dirty I'm going to clean that okay so this one and this one and this one okay and then I'm going to do a threshold to reduce you know the information here so that is a little more simple and a little more clean okay this is going to be my panel so i'm going to call it is it master panel okay I'm going to uh, to put it in desktop it's a little dirty but well a uh, master keyframe okay it's important at this point that it's a master keyframe because we don't know if this is going to be 10 keyframes or it's going to be you know five or three you know, depending on the story and the, uh, you know, and the length, of course. But right now it should be okay. So this should be, I, what did I, okay, is it still saving? Oh, sorry. Here, okay. Okay, so that's fine. So now that we have this, uh, yes, going to uh, start adding things here. Okay. So uh, I'm going to, to try to think in the last panel, as I say, it's going to be like a poster. So I'm going to put something like break a leg. Okay. As an expression. Uh, and then I'm going to, uh, well, going to do something like this. So I'm going to construct my poster. Okay. Uh, it is important or not uh, talking about things like calligraphy or final color not really because it's storyboard but at the same time remember we're working on design so if you have elements of design that are already decided and they are important maybe changing them now it might be you know uh, it might be helpful you know by um, determining exactly what you're going to go in terms of design so i'm thinking uh, maybe something like like uh, what it is I was looking on Kandara or the one, uh, which one, something like inspire me a little more. This one is not too bad, but obviously typography is a whole thing. Eh? I like this one, for example. So uh, break a leg, okay? And then obviously I'm going to, to add some image. Uh, the other day in class I observed many people spend, uh, you know, minutes, a minute, and, you know, half an hour or something looking for the pictures. There's no point in doing that. You just, uh, you know, paint, you know, yourself, whatever you want. You can, uh, you know, do it on a pen and paper. You can do it here. Uh, I'm going to, to do something here very fast. Uh, layer, new uh, layer. Okay. So one of the things when you are is something like this. Okay. I'm going to create, a, well, you know, the prototypical, uh, you know, um, bone, you know, could be a femur. I don't know. I, I, I don't care. So then I can do, you know, a, mm, some kind of, oops. Just kind of, I'm going to divide that into, okay, and then I'm going to do amendments on that, so, okay, and then if I cannot see with the, with this, what it is, uh, one second, 
uh, is it here? Uh, I change the layer, okay, so I can work on that. Okay, uh, oops, sorry, sorry for that. Uh, what is it? Okay, here you are, sorry. So with this, uh, okay, I'm going to, oops. Okay, sorry, I just wanted to see the this panel where I have the different layers. I think it's a very important that you rename the things. Okay, you organize a little this. So I'm going to do it, um, you know, so we are all in the same on the same page on that. But very simple, no? Radio, or this is the storyboard or the panel or whatever. And these are the text, obviously. And this one is the, uh, you know, the elements of the panel that in this case is, is the bone, no? So I'm going to put bone one and here I'm going to put bone two okay when we import to after effects we want everything to be quite well identified is is important okay so uh, layer zero if you want to import that it will be something like the background so there is no doubts about that okay the thing is this is this is where I'm doing my storyboard, no? With elements I, I borrow or with um, with elements I uh, I created myself or, or whatever, no? Uh, second, uh, obviously here you have folders, so I'm going to create a folder and in this folder bones. Okay, so that way I can move them together and I can re, you know, regroup them easily it's quite handy, no? So then you do Control T, and then you can reset that, so you can you know work on that. Okay, whole whole large, whole reoriented. Well, remember this is design. So yeah, my storyboard is not really great. My drawing skills are not really great, but what I want is to be very clear in terms of design. Okay, where the things are and the movement as well. Okay. So that is why uh, I'm going to do this kind of thing. Uh, in the last uh, element, I'm going to put some kind of direction. So the direction I'm thinking is more kind of exploding and, you know, the brake collapse from the middle. So uh, a little uh, a silly thing that I do, I don't know in your case, but in my case it works because I'm not very good drawing. So you, you can perfectly go to here to the, um, uh, you know, PowerPoint. And here you have this kind of um, shapes. So you can sometimes do something as simple as, you know, a row or something. You know, you can even change the color here because sometimes it's easier to do it down. And you can copy that and, and that is something you can also uh, use in this context. Of course, uh, Photoshop has its own tools, but sometimes I found these kind of things very fast to do, you know? So you can do something like this to indicate that, uh, you know, the, uh, the break is, uh, is breaking up the, the bone, no? Duplicate layer, okay, control T, okay, something like that. Okay, so that way, that way you can introduce elements to make your storyboard more clear. And of course, elements that I would always add, I think are important as part of this, uh, could be also the, uh, the number, but that's up to you. Uh, if you want to put it here or you want to put that in the storyboard per se. So what I'm doing is this master keyframe. And then for example, I can do another, uh, another A4. In this case, I'm going to do it vertical. And in this case, I'm going to do that with some kind of color because uh, I think sometimes helps, you know, to make it uh, more clear. Okay, so I like that kind of thing. So you have that and you can just control A, select everything, and then edit, you know, a copy merge, okay? And then you have here uh, your collection of different panels. And you can put here the, the name or the number. 
I wouldn't do that maybe in the panel because that way you can reorder that. So you can then later duplicate this, uh, you know, these things and, and just, you know, um, have your own Photoshop uh, storyboard. Okay. I like this Japanese style of one, 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 but you can do that uh, left to right, whatever it is easier for you. The important thing is then later you can add here all the information, like for example, image, uh, you know, uh, audio, and then sometimes audio is more than one thing, you know, audio track, uh, whatever you, the, whatever the convention you feel more comfortable with, but this information about that, no? The same as number, no? Having here the number one, two, three, four, uh, yes, helping always uh, to read better, uh, you know, the, the storyboard, that's very important. So that would be your storyboard. You save that. Okay. Story. You can see that for pages, no? So story 01, 02, all this thing, no? So that, that could be. So with that, you see how these two things, keyframe, master keyframe and a storyboard are together. But what about the, the after effects? Sorry, I should have said, what about the animatics, no? So uh, obviously we are doing that in After Effects, so that's why I say After Effects, but we're talking about animatics now. Animatics is the sequence, the animation that is going to be, uh, you know, uh, basically a representation of the time of your story in terms of sound, in terms of music. So how we start with that, if we have a storyboard in Photoshop, it's actually very easy because you can, uh, and we have seen that in class, we can just, uh, import that directly here and dynamically edit that in Photoshop. The thing is that that way we have the master keyframe, we have the storyboard, we have the panels, we have the um, animatic, but we have as well in some aspects a draft uh, animation of our final project, which I think it's all very handy and very easy to, to understand. Let's see an example. So here we have uh, animation by default, five seconds, okay. Uh, you see that the background is uh, this one. I'm going to import, okay, uh, that Photoshop file I created before. I was doing something, my computer, one second. Yeah, okay. So it is this one, the uh, panel 10. No, this is the one I did the other day. It's this one, the master keyframe, okay. And when you import that, if imports, ah, okay, you will see uh, a message and the message is what kind of importation do you want? And remember, don't use footage, use composition. If you use footage, it would blend all the content and that's not what you want. So compositions, okay, as it is. When you have that and you drag it, well, you see the result is this already, okay? Your keyframe, your master keyframe. So I must, I'm assuming that this keyframe can be, for example, about maybe two seconds, okay? So, and then I assuming as well that it could be, for example, at the end of my animation, okay? I think you should be able to see that, sorry. It's here, no? Like the two last seconds of the animation. So uh, when you come to that, here, you can put here every single of your keyframes, one after another, and at the same time having an animatic and your draft. Why? Because you can start editing this, you know, and to make it, you know, to be, uh, you know, compatible with the final project. For example, this is the dimensions of the A4. So maybe you can change that. And instead of the dimensions of the A4 that are actually not too bad, but let's make it easier. Just change that to uh, the A4. The, sorry, the, the 4K, the, the standard. Uh, I'm going to change this color about gray, yes. Same duration, doesn't matter. And then, remember we are inside the, the master keyframe. So what it is the, the radio, well, we don't need the, back, the background, okay? If you want the background, you can keep it, uh, but just make it you know, you can also 
exchange that with some kind of layer, that's up to you. You can eliminate any layer here, it won't disappear from the Photoshop. I did rename some things and some things not. It seems because you have layer one and layer one copy, which are, oh, yeah, that's what the arrows, okay. And then the bones, that little folder, you see it's a, a composition. So you can rearrange that by, so for that, clicking here and you can get this one and this one and you can just have it here if, if it's easier for you to have everything together. No? Then uh, the bones are, are here, so uh, what you can do is, is everything but this, we are going to do a scale, um, more or less like that, and then this like here. So I want just to be sure that we are working with uh, inside the proper um, radio, no? So then this one, we don't need that anymore. Uh, we know that everything that is inside, you know, it will be uh, inside the, the animation here. Okay, uh, you see how that modifies. As always, I, re I try to re remember always, no, but final composition. Try to be order, try to be, uh, you know, helping each other in the future to understand everything you are doing. And that's why it's important to rename things and to be ordered with everything. Okay, so now you have here the thing and you can start animating, you know, less than one second. I'm going to do, this is the final shot. So what I'm going to do is to bone one and bone two. I'm going to move them in terms of position and in terms of rotation. Okay, and in the meantime, this one, this one, uh, well, everything but these two are going to be locked because sometimes it's easier, you know. You probably don't need the, um, the arrows anymore. That's for the storyboard, but not really for the animation. Uh, so, you know, get rid of that. So then later, uh, bone and bone is going to be, okay, what was the idea that they kind of explode? So we are just going to see the keyframes here and then maybe from here to here. If that is the final position, it means that the initial position is like that, you know, and uh, the same here, we can do some kind of uh, rotation. I'm going to do uh, yeah, zero, and then here in the 30, you know, something like that. Okay, so then remember to work in terms of interpolation, Okay, so not always, you know, linear. So that way is, you know, something like that, very simple. And, uh, you know, the same with that. I can copy more or less the position of the keyframes, but you don't need to, okay? And then uh, there will be a rotation here. Okay, this one here, and then here. Uh, you know, okay, so to be fair, I didn't really think so much about that, but that's why it's important to think about this when you do the storyboard rather than to be playing in the after effects, okay, just trying if possible, you know, to, to think about things to do, and yeah, that that's the thing, in the moment that you have that, you already have uh, this, the thing is, if you later think that you're going to replace these assets, then maybe it would be better to pre-compose that, okay? And to leave all the attributes outside, okay? And the same here, okay? Why to do this? Well, this way uh, you can then later exchange this asset with another asset of more quality. So let's say, for example, that, uh, you know, you buy an asset on the internet. Let me check. So something like, uh, like this, for example, something like that. Oh, I like this one. You buy that or you do something similar or you get inspired and you do your own asset. But then later you can just, you know, replace that uh, using the Photoshop file. And the way it would be is you, you, you have to uh, go edit in Photoshop 
or you just go directly and, and edit on Photoshop. You have to select the layer. That's that's why you know you have to go a uh, layer. Uh, it's edit original. It's called edit original. Uh, here I did original. Okay, so that goes to Photoshop, and then here you identify the layer, and then of course you can replace that with the original one. Okay, so let's say that, uh, for example, in this case, you know, uh, you know, I'm doing something like this. I can also do that. Okay, so it would be a question of you know, replacing that, okay, more or less, okay, and that is the, uh, is the bone one, yes, so, uh, merge layers, and I'm going to clean it a little, <coughs> <coughs> and it's called bone one, no, it's okay. So if you didn't if you didn't change the name and if it's the correct name, it should be okay when you save that, it, it replaced that. Okay? Although in this case obviously I don't have a, a an alpha channel, so maybe uh, what I should do is just, just to clean it a little. Yes, this one here. Okay, and then the same I have some kind of yeah. Oops. Okay. And then you save that, and then it should go here. Okay, you see. So that's it. You can just, uh, you know, replace your asset with other assets of more quality. You know, change the style of the thing or whatever. So actually, it means that in the moment that you have an animatic, you can start looking or thinking on your project. And in some aspects, the only difference between an animatic and the final project is the version. You know, the first version of your project is the animatic, and then later, you know, it will be the final version of your project itself. So uh, when uh, you ask me in class, for example, sometimes, do we need to do an animatic? In some aspects, yes, you have to do it because it is something you, you would need eventually because it is your final project. If we're thinking about, oh, do an animatic because it has to be approved, I'm going to mark you, or someone else has to decide if this is a a product uh, good enough or all the creative decisions to take in consideration. Not really, not really. I'm not going to be asking you that, but it's expectable that uh, it's expected that you sooner or later you do an animatic. It's, it, it just feels that it's part of the project, okay? So I hope this, uh, this feels like something useful. Happy to do any other video about this or about any other topic if you find that uh, necessary, but I think something like that it's okay keeping it simple trying to do ideally videos that that can be less than 20 minutes this one has been almost an hour uh, half an hour sorry for that but okay i'll try to do shorter videos uh, a shorter video next time okay see you in class and uh, take care